current times, scientists know more about space than they know about oceans. How crazy is that? A massive portion of what lies under the ocean is unknown to us despite how much mankind has come along. Of the roughly 235,000 species that we are aware of, many have developed unusual camouflage, bioluminescence and mating behaviours in response to their environment. And what has this resulted in? Some of the most incredible yet bizarre creatures. Welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a deeper dive into some of the bizarre sea creatures that live miles below the ocean surface. And what makes our listing special is that these creatures could not escape the eyes of our camera lenses. Today we're talking about aquatic beings that can either bloat up like a balloon or are as scary as vampire squids. So which is the creepiest creature of the deep seas and where was it found? Stay tuned until the end to find out this and much more. With that, let's get started with a sea creature that some might find cute yet others might find creepy. We're talking about a sea creature that earned itself a title of being the ugliest animal, the deep sea blob sculpin. As the name goes, the sea creature belongs to the deep seas. It's a pink and slimy fish that looks weird and monstrous. It's quite amazing how we came across this creature. We've got to thank Karen Parkinson, a marine scientist who made the discovery of the blobfish in 2003 while on an ocean trip off the coast of New Zealand. These fishes are definitely not a sight for sore eyes. They look quite ghoulish and eerie. With eyes that are huge and widely spaced, and a mouth which is curved, this fish, which has a broad and a flattened head, looks like the devil of the seas. Have you ever seen a fish like this with lips that are so plump? So how deep down can we find them? The sculpins are found up to almost 2800 meters below the ocean and are spread apart along the coasts of Japan, California and the Bering Sea. Surprisingly, not many people had heard about the blobfish until it was actually named the world's most ugliest animal back in 2013. The reappearance had many terrified and wondering if it would bite or be poisonous. Now, before you start thinking about different possibilities, luckily for us, it's not poisonous. But here are some more interesting facts about the blobfish. It has several different attributes as compared to a... They have loose flabby pink skin rather than scales. They do not have a complete skeleton and muscles and their gigantic head makes up 40% of their entire body, which is massive. If this was not enough, they have super slow reproduction and growth. And what does this lead to? Blobfish can stay alive for up to 130 years. Anything else could make it creepier. So what exactly do these little fish monsters feast on? Largely, crustaceans such as crabs and lobsters, sea urchins and mollusks are a part of blobfish's diet and they have a very smart way of grabbing their prey. What they do is that they wait for their prey to enter their mouth as they sit still on the ocean floor. For those of you interested, the blobfish is incredible due to its gelatinous form and very acidic meat. But ironically, the primary predators of blobfish are fishermen. As of today, the blobfish species is in danger. Due to overfishing, this deep sea creature is on the verge of extinction. They frequently become bycatch unintentionally in trawling nets and perish as soon as they come into contact with air. Sadly, there are apparently only 420 individuals left in the world's waters, according to marine biologists. Whether the deep sea creature is hideous or totally cute is really up for debate. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Meanwhile, we're moving on to the next one, which is the Goblin Shark. What a name! Just the name is enough to send chills down your spine. These fish are known, these fish, which are known as Goblin Sharks, typically inhabit the ocean floor at continental shelves or the margins of continents. The Goblin Shark was first mentioned by David Starr Jordan more reasons than one for why these sharks can be dangerous. For starters, it's the humongous size. These pink creatures can grow to be 12 feet and 460 pounds in weight. They have teeth that resemble fangs that are lodged into the slender snouts. Are you curious to know where they got their name from? Well, these sharks are named for their resemblance to mythological goblins that occur in Japanese folklore. Shouldn't be hard to guess that these mighty beasts are typically sent off the coast of Japan and sometimes along the coast of Australia. Did you know the goblin shark is also referred to as the living fossil? This is because the family from which this unusual looking shark descended dates back millions of years. 
Now here's something out of the usual. If all those fangs were not enough, the shark can literally thrust its jaw three inches out of its own mouth. Some even say that the goblin shark is a prehistoric fossil similar to the dinosaurs. Surprisingly, the goblin shark has a long, flat snout that becomes shorter with age. They are so uncommon and cryptic that it's impossible to pinpoint why. About the behavior of these infrequently encountered animals, sadly, scientists know very little. However, they think that, like many other shark species, goblin sharks live alone. Additionally, they believe that these sharks are busiest in the mornings and evenings. These goblins are probably slow-moving beings, which might make hunting for food challenging. Fortunately for these slowpokes, they have extra bite thanks to their unique extended jaws. The top and bottom teeth of the goblin shark are joined by ligaments or bands of skin tissue that are tucked inside its mouth. The shark extends the elastic tissue from its mouth to snag prey that is just out of reach. This enables the creature to munch on food like teleost, fish and squid. This definitely makes the shark a truly amazing fish, doesn't it? With that, we're moving on to the next. We've all heard of a viper snake, but have you heard of the Sloane's viper fish? This one definitely looks small, but don't be fooled, for it's deadly. It was first found by two German scientists named Marcus Bloch and Johann Schneider back in 1801. Even though the Sloane's viper fish is only a little over a foot long, its fangs are quite dangerous. The fish may impale food by swimming at it head first, mouth agape, because its fang-like gnashers are more than half the size of the viper's head. So how do you identify this fish? It has pale fins and an iridescent dark silver-blue color and hexagonal pigmented patches with one or more tiny photophores are all over its body's size. But here's an amazing fact, the Sloane's viper fish is a deep sea fish species that is known to move vertically. It can be found in depths between 500 and 2500 meters during the day, but at night it swims up into shallower water less than 600 meters where there is more food available. Worldwide, the species can be found in both tropical and temperate marine waters. In Australia, samples have been gathered from Tasmania and the country's southwestern region of Western Australia. But here's something that makes this fish fascinating. The viper fish is also known to have photophores, which are organs that can produce light. They may look absolutely terrifying, but you have to agree that these light-emitting deep-sea creatures are simply enchanting. One study even stated that when the tail of the fish is squeezed, it can release light for about 5 to 10 seconds. Well, this fish doesn't cease to surprise us. One of the other mind-blowing aspects about viperfish is that they can see in color, which scientists only recently discovered. While hunting, the viperfish remains immobile, conserving energy with its frighteningly large fangs open. When another fish swims past, portion size is unimportant. They consume prey, the Sloane's viperfish simply unhinges its skull, extends its jaw up to 90 degrees and expands its stomach. These viperfish can go several days without eating after a meal, much like snakes in the depths of the ocean where it can be a feast or a famine, this fish is prepared for both. It's now time for the black dragonfish. Yet again, just looking at this fish will actually send shivers down your spine. Their stomachs are covered with black tissue and their bodies are completely dark to prevent any light from coming from the bioluminescent or light producing animals they feed. Pacific black dragons have numerous rows of specialized light cells or photophores along the length of their dark bodies. These cells are likely employed to entice potential mates. At the tip of the lengthy barbell, which are like bristles, they hang down from the chin. They have a distinct light organ. This organ serves as a bait to draw prey into their mouths, which are lined with teeth. Although these fish are not closely related to actual eels, adult black dragons can grow to a length of around 2 feet, are thin and resemble eels. Even though it dwells in deep waters, the Pacific black dragon's favored depths do receive some sunshine during the day, which is why the eyes are big and well formed. It's interesting to note that the majority of the Pacific black dragon's aforementioned traits only apply to females. So what about the males? The males can't feed since they are considerably smaller and lack teeth or stomach or a barbell. They never actually go past their larval stage of development and the egg yolk provides them with all the energy needs. Males barely have enough time to mate before they pass away. These fishes are rare and any change to the environment of the ocean could lead to their extinction. 
the black dragonfish is poisonous and can cause severe injuries, so it would be wise to not eat them or go near them. Next up, we have a creature that looks like an octopus and a squid, but is neither. We're talking about the vampire squid. The name sounds terrifying, but they are a little less scarier than the previous fishes we talked about. Scientists have classified it as a distinct species with its own group. The vampire squid has eight arms and two tentacles, just like many of its relatives. Its common name comes from its black color and the skin that joins the arms, which resembles a cape rather than the fact that it suckers or consumes blood. They are only found in the depths of the ocean where it's completely dark. The vampire squid flips over its cape when provoked, exposing the thick spines that run along the underside of its limbs. This species appears fairly threatening when it adopts this posture, yet it is actually quite harmless. Not in a predatory way, it survives instead on food particles that it traps with the help of sticky cells on its lengthy, flexible tentacles. It feeds strategically in this fashion by consuming plant and animal detritus that sink from the ocean's surface. It is known that several huge fish and diving predators devour vampire squids. In contrast to octopuses and shallow water squids, vampire squids do not eject black ink to protect themselves from predators as in the dark waters the ink would be pointless. Rather, they excrete a colorless liquid that can produce light to confuse their predators. The vampire squid can also produce light at the tips of their limbs to further confuse their predators and it also works as a form of communication. Scientists have way more to find out about these species as it's difficult to study these fishes in their natural habitat. Moving on, we have the anglerfish. The fish surely give nightmares to kids who watch the movie Finding Nemo. The deep sea anglerfish with the angry expression is entitled to be irritable. It's quite possibly the ugliest animal on the planet and it lives in what is exactly Earth's most inhospitable habitat, the lonely, lightless bottom of the sea. The interesting part of these fishes is that they are fish that can actually fish. Confused? Well, we're too. These creatures have a dangling fish-like rod that extends from their forehead and have bioluminescent properties. Anglerfish can move the lure around to make it more like live bait. The majority of species are able to expand their mouths broad enough to swallow prey completely while employing their fangs as cage bars in addition to daggers. Some have jaws and stomachs that can expand widely, trapping creatures that are much larger than themselves. When a female specimen of the strange fish was discovered on the Greenland coast in 1833, anglerfish were brought to the attention of scientists. Since then, the majority of the knowledge that scientists have gained has come through removing dead or dying specimens from nets and their lifestyle hints have been few. Oceans are home to numerous varieties of anglerfish, but the deep sea variant draws the greatest attention. The weird, secretive fish currently has 168 known species, according to biologists around the world. Some anglerfish have a rod above and a long barbell sticking out from their lower jaw. One species, scientifically known as Lassionathus sacustoma, has a moving rod as well as a line, a float, a lit bait and three hooks extending from it. The irony is certainly visible, huh? Next up, we have the Emperor Dumbo. If that is not a funny name, we don't know what is. This new species of Dumbo octopus was discovered in 2016 by Alexander Ziegler when he was aboard a German ship RV. The umbrella-like webbing connecting their tentacles and their cartoonishly ear-like fins, which mimic the huge ears on Disney's Dumbo elephant mascot, serve as indicators of the Dumbo octopus species. These creatures live in the absolute depth of the ocean, up to at least 13,100 feet. The largest one found was around 5 feet long and weighed 13 pounds. As they live in total depth, they have the ability to survive with less food and no sunlight. Dumbo octopuses use their arms to steer while slowly flapping their ear-like fins. Unlike most of the octopus, the Dumbo octopuses does not have an ink sac as there are very few predators at those depths. Because of their preference for extreme depths, they are only very rarely caught in fishing nets and are therefore unlikely to be threatened by human activity too. Despite spending the majority of their lives suspended above the sea floor, Dumbo octopuses lay their eggs on the sea floor, attached to rocks or other hard surfaces. These creatures are certainly weird to the eye, but the name makes them sound kind of adorable too. Now, before you get too carried away, here comes the coffin fish. 
Who comes up with these names? With such a name like coffin fish, it's no surprise that these strange looking critters have evolved to flourish at the bottom of the ocean. The deep sea inhabitants, sometimes known as sea toads, have unique fins for walking on the sea floor, something scientists already knew. This unusual fish has a lifespan of roughly 25 years. The coffin fish lives at the extreme depths of the ocean, ranging anywhere between 50 to 2500 feet deep, a pressure we humans cannot even imagine. A new study, however, has discovered another coffin fish adaptation, large inflated gill chambers that expand the animal's body with seawater, allowing them to take in more oxygen and hold their breath for up to four minutes. It favors the temperature waters of the Pacific's southwest area. The species' habitat is vast and it may be found off Australia's east coast. These deep-sea critters are one-of-a-kind in terms of appearance, habitat, nutrition and defense methods. Everything about them is distinct from other sea creatures, they are possibly one of the oddest fish because of their ability to walk on the ocean floor with their fins. Their mouth is quite huge with many little but sharp teeth. They may not be huge in size, but they have the ability to inflate themselves and flat away just like a pink balloon. It's fascinating how little we know about the oceans that surround us, and these fishes are just a glimpse of what more might be out there down under the deep blue seas. Which of these terrified you the most? Do you know any other deep sea creatures? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. For more videos, stay tuned and thanks for watching.